Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. So if you've been following this channel for long enough, you probably know how much I love Arturia's pigments and how much I love ring mods. I mean, pigments is definitely one of my desert island synthesizers and ring mod has been my secret weapon for sound design for the last year almost. So for someone like me, a perfect scenario will be having both of them in one single plugin, right? And this is exactly what Arturia did in the latest updates for Pigments, Pigments 4, that was released last week. So in today's tutorial, we'll talk about ring modes, I'll show you why I think they are awesome, how I use them, you know, make some psychedelic sounds with them. And we'll take a really quick look at the new Pigments update. But before we dive into this tutorial, if you'd like to support the channel, you can consider becoming one of my patrons, buy my presets, or just leave a like, comment, subscribe, things like that helps the channel a lot. Now with that said, let's dive into this tutorial. So here we are in Bitwig and this is the new pigments and as you can see it has a new white skin now. I really love this new skin. I've read online that some people didn't really love it. Uh, I really love it because you know I'm, I'm someone who gets bored uh, a lot you know like it's really easy for me to get bored and having the option of switching between the black and the white skin actually plays a lot on my creativity if that makes sense you know like it's just the fact that oh a new fresh look and uh, yeah this thing helps me a lot so this is a really nice added feature for me and uh, yeah for sure we have the ring mod in here i'm really going fast and quick about the new ads on and i'll just mention the ones that really interest me because there's already a million of videos on youtube talking about each one of these new features and i just don't want to add a new videos to this million of videos list so yeah, anyways uh, as i said we have the ring mod in here awesome arturia thanks a lot we have a new ms20 filter and this filter sounds so good now does it sound like an ms20 filter i have no idea i've never used an ms20 never owned one but in the context of pigments, it sounds really good, and I'll show you how we can get some really nice psychedelic juice out of it. Um, also, we have now the on-off buttons for the sequencer and the effects, so we can quickly turn them off and on. That's really nice. Uh, we have a new super unison uh, module effect, basically, and this is really awesome to actually make atmospheres. Also, I'll show you how we will use it. And we have a new shimmer reverb. Now, the shimmer reverb is just like their pitched delay. Basically, there's a pitch shifting algorithm thing in the feedback loop that will give us an octave higher. I think it goes up to two octaves. Yeah, it goes to two octaves higher, two octaves lower. Um, and with it, we can actually create some really nice atmospheres. I mean... Uh, Here's uh, a sine wave going through the super unison first. So without anything, now let's add the super unison. Okay, instant wideness, right? And now we can add the shimmer reverb, which is going one octave higher by default, and we'll get cathedral or eternal vibes already you know like you can get like really emotional with it awesome but we're not here to make emotional stuff we're here to make awesome psychedelic mind bending sounds so let's get down to that okay so i'll turn off the shimmer you know what i'll just initialize the preset real quick in here turn off the effects go to the wavetable engine so i'll be using the wavetable engine in here and i'll keep it to a sine wave and i thought to myself the best way to show you how good and you know what we can get out of a ring mod is by using simple waveforms and in this case a sine wave right so uh, yeah, I'll use the sine wave of the wavetable engine. Nothing too special. I'll turn off the unison uh, option in here. And in the modulator section, we have, well, basically the sine wave. But what I'll do, I'll actually use engine 2 as a modulator for engine 1. They've added this option in uh, update 3, if I'm not mistaken. So 
I'll turn on engine two and I'll set it to a wave table and I'll keep it on a sound wave. Now, why I chose the engine two instead of a modulator in here, especially that I'm using a sound wave to modulate, is because this modulator goes high up as 36 semitones while the engine two can go up to 60 semitones. And this is really important for this trick. So check this out. We have our sine wave. I'll set the modulation to ring mod. I'll crank it all the way up. So now we have this. Pretty awesome. So what I'll do, I'll go to the LFOs in here. I'll take the first LFO, I'll set it to sample and hold. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. They've added a lot of UI improvements and uh, workflow improvements. And now in the LFO section, we don't need to scroll through the waves to get to what we really need. We can just choose it in here. You know, we have the basic waveforms basically. So this just makes it easier and like straight to the point, if that makes sense. So I'll set the rate in here to basically straight only sync mode and I'll set it to, yeah, one and sixteen is really good. And now we can, and this is a new feature, we can drag the LFO and drop it on the destination and we can choose this vital like, you know, circular shape to choose how much or dial how much modulation we want on the chorus of the second engine. To be honest, I've never had any problem with the way pigments used to modulate things. You know, like I really love the fact that you can just click the plus sign in here and just dial how much modulation you want from each of the modulators. It's one of the things that made pigments for me a, a special synthesizer, you know besides for sure the way it sounded. Uh, but yeah, it's always cool to have the drag and drop option. So now when I've modulated the second engine pitch with the first LFO, which is set to 1 16th, sample and hold, we have this. Okay, I'm modulating way too fast. I'll set it to 1 and 8. Now we have this. Pretty cool. And now what I'll do, I'll take the first random generator in here i'll set it to the chorus of the first engine this time and i'll crank it to 0 0.5 so basically we have a unipolar modulation and it's going higher up in the pitches so now we have this pretty crazy right uh so what i'll do now this filter in here the first one i'll set it to the ms21 i'll close it a little bit like so and now i'll crank the resonance and check this resonating character that we will get pretty cool right so what i'll do in here i'll take the first random modulator and i'll make it modulate the ms20 filter in here for sure you can use other modulators i just want to make things simple and quick for this tutorial so now we have this pretty crazy right and what we can also do in here i'll turn on the second filter and now these filters are set in serial right so the second filter in here i'll set it to comp right and i'll set the comp to feedback you know i'll turn down the keyboard tracking i'll close it all the way down so basically it'll act as a some sort of a slow delay kind of effect i'll dial down the gain a little bit and now i have this pretty crazy but you know what we can do this ms20 filter in here i'll set it to high pass six check this out now pretty psychedelic right and i've set it to high pass six in here because i felt there was just a lot of low end when it was set to low pass 12 so yeah high pass just took some of those lower nasty frequencies out now let's go to the effects section and what i'll do in here first of all i'll just set a compressor in here just to keep things you know in control and control and i set the ratio to one to 100 to 1. Basically, it's in limiting mode now. I'll set the attack to the fastest possible. Really quick release, and I'll take down the threshold. Okay, pretty nice. Just, you know, yeah. Maximum 5 decibels of gain reduction just to keep things 
in place. You know, so we won't actually saturate. And now what I'll do, I'll choose the super unison module. I'll set the detuning all the way up. I'll set the voices all the way up and I'll play with the rate. Check what we'll have. Pretty crazy. You know what? I'll set the super unison before the compressor. And I'll take down a little bit of the gain of this comp filter in here and a little bit of the volume. And now what I'll do, I'll take the first random generator in here and I'll make it modulate the rate of the super unison all the way up. And with a little bit of, yeah, 25% wet, we'll get this. Pretty crazy. And now the last thing I'll do, I'll add a shimmer reverb in here and I'll set the pitch shifting to actually 13 semitones, right? I'll give it some size and I'll take down the high pass filter in here and I'll close it a little bit. I'll add some ducking and some modulation. And now we have this. See, the fact that I've used a pitch shifting of 13 semitones actually add this really nice, uh, like, dissonant uh, character to the sound. Like, if I have it on 12 semitones, we would have this. Yeah, okay, cool, but if I'll add 13... Take down the king. Pretty weird and psychedelic. And with a kick and bass, we'll get this. Now I have a couple of other examples that I want to show you in the new pigments that utilizes also just sine waves, ring mod, the super unison and the shimmer reverb to actually create a lead and a, an atmosphere. So the first patch is the lead one. So I'll turn off the FXs and I'll walk you real quick through this patch. So um, I've used a sample that I made a while ago in a friend's workshop, basically, and it sounds like this. Just him basically knocking. And um, what, I've, what I did in here, I've turned on the granular engine, so we have this. A pretty basic granular effect in here. And also, I've used the second engine, which is just a sine wave modulated by a triangle wave. It sounds like this. Okay, and I've used it to ring mod the first engine. So we'll get this. Basically, let me turn off this one. Okay, right. So I've used the first engine here just to add some character to the sound, basically. So it's like minus 18 decibels, you know, like we can barely hear it. And the second engine is the one actually creating the sound. It's going to a first filter, MS20 filter, as I showed you with the resonance being modulated and, you know, the cutoff being modulated with the first LFO. So we have this. And the MS20 is feeding to a comp filter, just like with the example I just showed you. So we have this. And the gain is being modulated with a random modulator in here, the binary one. And all of this actually feeds into a multiband compressor that goes into a super unison. You know, to add some width and like kind of like a chorus feeling, you know, like make it fill up the space. A little bit of a shimmer reverb for sure, set to 13 semitones. And everything feeds to a 
Ping Pong 108 started a delay. And with the kicking bass we'll get this. Pretty crazy mind-bending sounds, man. Now let's move on to the Atmos patch. So here's the second patch, the Atmos one. And just like with the first one, I've utilized the two engines. I'll talk first about the second engine, then about the first one, okay? So I'll turn out the engine, the first one, and the FXs. So the second engine basically is a sine wave being modulated with a ring mod, sine wave, and we have the fine pitch being modulated by the LFO in here, you know, just to give it some movement. And it's going to the first filter, basically no filter, and the filters are set to parallel mode. So basically, this engine isn't affected by the MS-20 filter in here. So it sounds like this. Nothing too special. But on the effect side of things, we, again, we have the super unison and the shimmer. And when I'll play it, check what we will have. Instant dark vibes. I really love this, man. Now, the first engine here, I have a basically a wavetable from the Pigment's four new wavetables. You know, they come bundled with it when you update. The wavetable is being modulated by the ring mod again. Uh, we have a triangle wave modulating it. And it's going to the MS-20 filter, which is being modulated by the second envelope in here. So when I'll hit play, we will get without the effects. You know, it's giving it some sort of a throat singing character, you know, if that makes sense. So with the effects, both of them sounds like this. Uh, pretty dark. So both the lead and the atmosphere together with a kick and bass will create this. Oh, and by the way, I have a side chaining in here from Bitwig just, you know, to pump down the sound a little bit with the kick. So yeah, with the kick and bass, we have this. pretty dark and psychedelic and uh, yeah in a nutshell this is the new pigments for <laughs> this is you know just a small portion of the crazy things you can do with a ring mod so yeah go update your pigments and play with these awesome new features make some nice music with it and uh, yeah with this this is the end of this tutorial i really hope you've liked it i really hope you've learned something new see you next time